Mum's Ma and Care, 31 was part of the NHS's B-positive choir and had lost one of her children, a son called Cavell, to sickle cell anemia in 2015 The hematology and oncology nurse performed in front of judges, Simon Cowell, David Williams and Amanda Holden in June as part of the B positive for the NHS blood and transplant to promote blood donations The group was a wild card entry to the final, losing out to comedian Lost Voice Guy She was stabbed to death in a flat in Gracious Road in the affluent Nappy Valley area of southwest London Desmond Silva, 40, has been charged with Simon's murder and is due to appear at Wimbledon Magistrates Court tomorrow Simon, who worked as a nurse at Guy's and St Thomas Hospital in South London, joined the choir after her son died in 2015 She discovered she was a sickle cell disease carrier during a routine 12-week pregnancy scan and Cavell was diagnosed at only five days old after a heel prick test Cavell's father was screened and discovered that he was also a carrier for the disease as well At the time of the competition Simone said, knowing both myself and Cavell's dad were carriers of the sickle cell trait meant that my baby would have a 1 in 4 chance of developing the condition Cavell was diagnosed with sickle cell disease at birth he had his first sickle at just a few months old The sickling happened mainly in his tummy, and as he got older, he was hospitalized one or two times a year, usually for a few days at a time Cavell was an active child and he went to school and led as normal a life he could with sickle cell disease When Cabell was six years old, he came home from school one day feeling fine and went to bed at 8.30 p.m. as usual But at 5 a.m. the following day, he awoke with a high temperature and vomiting Simon said, I gave Cabell medication and monitored him throughout the morning However, he became more lethargic and I felt his condition was not improving, so I called for an ambulance and was told we would have to wait up to 45 minutes An hour later I telephoned 999 again because Cabell's breathing became more labored Cabell went into cardiac arrest approximately 20 to 30 minutes after several ambulance crews started to arrive He did not recover and passed away in hospital several hours later Simon joined the B-positive choir because she is passionate about raising awareness of blood conditions like sickle cell disease and wanted to raise awareness of the need for more young people and more black people to come forward and sign up as blood donors She added, I got to spend six wonderful years watching Cavell grow, and though there were a handful of hospitalizations in his short life, I was positive that he would live a full life into adulthood I lost him in 2015 She added, singing can be such an uplifting experience so joining the Be Positive Choir seemed the obvious way to raise awareness of the urgent need for more young and black people to give blood while doing something positive and motivational Simon described her singing as therapy, adding, the choir is massive therapy, it really helps A lot of the people have sickle cell themselves It's nice to see them when they are well Sometimes they come to practice after they've had a crisis it's uplifting to see these adults living their lives and living to a great age 
Simon studied to become a nurse, qualifying in January 2018, and joined Guy's and St. Thomas's Hospital in February 2018 as a staff nurse in hematology and oncology. A Metropolitan Police statement said police were called on Wednesday, 15 August at 12.38 hours to a report of a stabbing at a residential address in Gratiot Road, SW11. Officers attended along with the London Ambulance Service and London's Air Ambulance. A woman, aged 31, was found with a stab injury. She was pronounced dead at the scene at 13.41 hours. While formal identification awaits, police are confident that the deceased is 31-year-old Saman Samantha Kerr, originally from Wembley. Her next of kin have been informed, and a post-mortem is due to take place today. The Met's Homicide and Major Crime Command are leading the investigation. At this stage, police are not looking for anyone else in connection with this investigation. Anyone with information concerning this incident is asked to call police on 101 quoting CAD 318315 August or Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800 555 111.